First day on tea. A month on tea. Two months on tea. Yeah. I'm three months on tea. I'm four months on tea. Hello. It is actually. What is this different thing? Listen. Hello. Um, it's actually a day before my four months? Four months, yeah. Um, it's a day before my four months. It is October 15th, not October 16th. I'm recording this video a day early because I actually have time to record the video today. And I'm not going to have time to record the video tomorrow, but I think I'm going to edit it tomorrow so it will be posted. It'll be posted on my four months. See? You see? At least I'll be on time with this one. Um, so if you like that or haven't, I'm still just sort of stuck in this no change area. Um, my endo, I recently saw her like two days ago. My endo thinks that my T levels are low, so I got my blood work redone. I'm just waiting for the results back from that. Um, and she thinks that they most likely are too low, so I'm gonna have to up my dose if that's the case. Um, I got a new tattoo. It's a little paint bottle. It's super cute and I love it. It's still healing, that's why it's like looks a little spotty. Um, I got it for the Friday the 13th, one of the $20 tattoos, or well, $13 with a $7 tip. And then I tipped the artist an extra like $10 on top of it because I felt bad that they were so busy. Um, and she was like really nice to me and my friend. Um, but yeah, I did that. My acne, it's not bad today. It's, it's doing good today. Because I started using this beautiful thing, which my endo prescribed to me. Because my acne has been out of control. It's been ridiculous. Oh my god. My acne is now officially bad enough that I need an acne medication. A, prescript, a prescription strength acne medication. Thank you, testosterone. But focus on me. Excuse me. Thank you. But yeah, my acne got that bad. Um, I'm really glad that I got this though because I only had it been using it for like a day. And it's working really well. Um, I have gained weight. Part of that I think is due to my diet, just with being in college, like, and uh, like all the stuff that I do, like between both of my jobs and being in college, um, I'm never really eating healthy food anymore because the only things on my way that are affordable are junk food, or like the things that are around me are all junk food. Um, I was always like in the 160 area, and then when I, a few years back was on depo, I went up to 170, and I stayed in that area for a while, and now I am 180, um, which is really different. I don't look 180, I don't feel 180, but when I went to my endo um, the other day, I stepped on the scale, and sure enough, I was 180 pounds and like a few ounces, and I was like, that's a new number. Um, so I do think I'm going to try and do some stuff to like lose that extra weight. Because I am kind of, I, even though I've always been heavier set, I feel like the testosterone is making me gain like extra weight on, to on top of my bad diet. Um, I'm gaining weight more easily and it's not muscle, it's very much fatty weight. Hey Buzz Buzz, I love you. Buzz says hi. Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, my boo -boo 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 -boo. okay, okay, he just wants to sit next to me. But I recently started a GoFundMe a few days ago for my surgery um, because I was originally planning on having my surgery, like completely self-funding my surgery by taking out a small loan. Um, but my parents are not willing to co-sign on a loan for me because even though they're supporting me mentally, they do not want to support me financially, which I understand their reasonings why. It's not a thing I want to get into. Um, but they will not co-sign a loan for me for it and my annual income because I am in college is only it's not high enough to get a five thousand dollar loan um well five thousand five hundred dollars for the surgery 
I did get approved for a $750 credit card, which is going straight to my surgery. Um, and that, I'm really lucky that has no interest for a whole year. Um, so I can, if I can get that credit card paid off in a year, then I won't have to pay any interest on that. But I still have to come up with the other, like, $4,000 and some change. And that's, like, half my year's income if I don't get taxed and I don't eat. So, you know, I, I can't really make that when the money is due late November. So I set up a GoFundMe. And it took a lot of thinking to set that up because I, I was very much of the opinion of, like, Unless you're in a real tragedy, GoFundMe is, like, just begging for money. Um, and it's different when you're in the situation where you need the money, you know? But I am offering for anyone who wants to donate, if you can donate even a dollar, I will give you a signed cosplay print, or if you want to send me a wig, I will style your wig and ship it back to you for free. Um, I'm willing to do, like, I'll make you a bracelet, I'll make you, like, a, I'll paint you something, like, I am willing to do anything as a thank you for, like, if you can even donate a dollar, just something to show my appreciation for you guys. Like, if you even just want to, I'll just, ha a handwritten thank you note, like, like, anything to show anyone who donates how much I appreciate that they're donating, and... Also, with the, um, I am most likely getting reimbursed a fair amount of the surgery from my insurance, but I have to pay up front, and that's where the big issue is. So, with that reimbursement money, after I have, like, that credit card and all that paid off, if there's anything left over from the GoFundMe money um, that I got back from the reimbursement, basically, I am not keeping any of that. I am going to take that money and give it to another trans person and help fund their surgery. Because... So, like, donating for me can almost be, like, donating for another person as well, you know? Because I'm not going to keep any extra money that I'm given for this surgery. Like, once my medical bills for this surgery are paid off, I'm giving any extra money to another person who needs this surgery. And it's not necessarily a female-to-male top surgery. Even if it's um, a male-to-female surgery, um, top or bottom male uh female to male top or bottom if i'm gonna like look for someone on gofundme who's raising money and give them the extra money that they need um after i have my medical bills paid off because it's just i don't know it just doesn't feel right to keep the extra money you know um but yeah if you're not able to donate if you could please just share the link around surprisingly enough people sharing the link has actually really been helping me like, just, just copy and paste it to your Facebook. It helps me so much more than you would think it does. Because, like, just one person giving a dollar, like, it doesn't sound like that much, but it really does add up. I'm up to almost $250 now, and I'm so unbelievably grateful for that money. Like, I cannot even express how grateful I am for that. Um... But yeah, I think that's about it. I'm four months on T. A. <laughs>